Hey, what's up everybody? Too Tall Toby here, and in today's Autodesk Fusion quick tip, we're gonna show you how to create a new custom material with a custom material density. Now this is gonna be really important if a customer comes to you with a custom material and wants you to calculate the weight of that part. But it's also gonna be important if you're visiting twotalltoby.com and going through our 2D to 3D challenges that we've got posted here in the Practice Models app. So you can see here that we've got a repository of over 130 challenges going from a 2D drawing to a 3D model. One of those challenges is here, 250101. And if I click here to practice and then click here to begin, I can reveal the drawing. It's that model of the T that we had here in Fusion 360. And we can see here that the challenge is saying what is the mass of this part in xx grams and we're going to enter that mass right down here well the thing is the only way we're going to get this answer correct is if we're working with the correct material density and we can see that that density is being called out down here on the title block now currently what i'm using in fusion is the default material density or the default material and so if i go up here to the top of the tree and i right mouse button and choose properties i can see the fusion Fusion is telling me that the mass of this part is 121.989 grams. So let's enter that into the app and see if it's correct. Maybe we'll get lucky. So 121.989 grams, enter and no, incorrect. Your answer is not within the specified tolerance. So I guess that wasn't the correct material density for these challenges. Well, it turns out that in these challenges, we always use one of four different material densities. And I'm gonna show you now how to create a custom material with a custom density, but then I'm gonna show you how to download and load in a custom material library that I've created for you so that you can make this process a lot easier and so you'll have all the correct materials ready to go in your seat of Autodesk Fusion. So if that sounds good to you, be sure to hit the like button on this video and this clock is still running, so let's keep moving forward with this demonstration. So here we can see that we're gonna close our material properties here. We're gonna go into this modify flyout and down at the bottom, we're gonna say manage materials, manage materials. And from this manage materials window, we're gonna go and find the material that's kind of close to our aluminum 1060 with a density of 2,700 kilograms per cubic meter. So maybe I'll just pick this one here, this, uh, aluminum 3015 3105 h18 let's take that material it's probably close and let's do a right mouse button and choose add to favorites add to favorites and once we do that we can go up to the top of this list of materials and go into our favorites and there is that aluminum now instead of modifying the original material let's duplicate that original material duplicate and then we can right mouse button on the duplicate and we can choose rename and we'll call this one toby's aluminum toby's a-l-u-m toby's aluminum and then and you can name it whatever you want right mouse button rename name it whatever you want but then we're going to go to this pencil here because what that will do is it'll fly out the menu of material properties for that custom material so we've got identity appearance and physical and this is the one that we're interested in because in physical we can see here that this material under mechanical so we go here to physical the tab that says physical up here at the top physical and then we go down to mechanical and then down in mechanical we've got a density of 2710 grams per cubic centimeter well remember we're trying to implement a density of 2700 kilograms per cubic meter which means we just have to take this decimal place and move it over three places so this should be 2700 grams per cubic centimeter so 2700 grams per cubic centimeter and we're going to say apply we're going to close out of this box here managing our materials let me get rid of this uh, materials library image here. And now we're gonna go to our right mouse button at the top of the tree. We're gonna say physical material. We're gonna go into our favorites. So you see you've got your fusion material library, but then you've also got your favorites. And here in your favorites, you've got Toby's aluminum. So we'll take that and we'll drag and drop it onto the part here. And we'll say, do you wanna remove the physical property and, and uh, assign the, the new one? We're gonna say, yep. And then we're going to say close and now we're going to right mouse button on the name of the part here and go down to properties and we can see over here in the properties of the part the newly updated mass of this part is 41.958 so let's go back into the two tall toby practice models app 41.958 and enter and yes 
We did it. The math is correct. Congratulations. This answer is correct. So that's awesome. And now we know how to create the custom material for aluminum. And it's going to be the custom material that's using the correct material density. But we're not done yet. Because what we can also do in Fusion is we can create a new custom material library to manage all of our custom materials. So here under Modify, Manage Materials, down here you've got this folder which has a flyout with some different options. This folder here and then the flyout here with some different options, including create a new library so if you choose to create a new library you're going to be actually creating a new file here like i've done i've created this two tall toby custom materials library or you can choose to open an existing materials library and so i'll include some information down below in the description with a link to a custom fusion materials library that i've created and then what you can do is you can download that and then you can go into fusion here and you can fly out this menu and you can say open existing library and we're going to open up that library let's go into our downloads it's called two tall toby dash materials 2025 so we're going to choose to open that existing materials library and look at this we've got our material for 1060 aluminum for abs for plain carbon steel and for red oak and for each of these materials let's see if each of these materials matches up with our densities so we'll click on this first one here the two tall toby aluminum let's take a look at the physical properties there of that aluminum we can see that that aluminum is using the 2700 uh kilograms per cubic meter or grams per cubic centimeter um, we can also see if we go down here into the two tall toby library our abs Let's see what the mechanical properties of that are. 1.020 grams per cubic centimeter. That matches up. We can look at our plain carbon steel. 7.800 grams per cubic centimeter. That matches up. And we can look at our red oak. And that red oak under mechanical is using 0 0.570 grams per cubic centimeter. And that matches up as well. So once you load that library, you should have all the materials that you need. Remember, when you're ready to apply those materials, you're going to right mouse button here at the top of the tree. You're going to go to physical material, and then you're going to have to go into that new library. So you fly out this library here. You go to two tall Toby libraries or two tall Toby materials, and then you're going to be able to choose from those materials. Let's take that red oak and apply that. Oh, yeah, that looks good. And so that is how you can download an existing materials library. That is also how you can create your own new custom materials in Fusion. Let me know down in the comments if you have any questions. Be sure to hit the like button on this video. Be sure to subscribe to this video. And if you really enjoy these challenges, take a look. There's some more fun challenges in here going from 2D to 3D. There's about 20 challenges in here that are free for everyone. And then if you really enjoy the app, you can upgrade to the premium membership, which will unlock the entire library. So so, like I said, let me know if you have any questions down below. Let me know if you learned anything new down below in the comments. And I'll look forward to seeing everyone in the next Autodesk Fusion Quick Tip video.